Hello everyone, uh, this is Noah and in today's video we are going to be looking at uh, uh, the honeycomb briquette and uh, the honeycomb briquette making machine. So a honeycomb briquette is uh, this kind of briquette, it's just a cylindrical briquette with holes in it. So uh, it's a cylindrical lamp of biomass that uh, has holes in it. Uh, these briquettes can be made from uh, uh, biomass paste or you can use the usual chap and make these briquettes. So I'll put a video around here uh, showing you how these briquettes are actually made. Um, so this video here is going to be talking about uh, how we make this machine here and uh, later on in the video you guys will be able to access this uh, 3D model and you guys can also interact with it. Yeah. So right away we can see that this briquette machine actually has about only uh, three components mainly and uh, from this perspective you can actually see uh, the comparison of uh, this briquette height, briquette machine height with uh, this uh, human model. So you can actually see the comparison between the two. Um, I didn't tell you by the way, these briquettes are, are made for a, spe a specific kind of stove. Now like for instance this briquette is, uh, it has a diameter of around 250 millimeters and it is made for a, a stove that has uh, a diameter of this kind of 250 millimeters. So uh, we can have it, these briquettes, we can have these briquettes in various sizes, uh, for instance some can be of a diameter 200 or a diameter 150 depending on the size of the stove where they are going to be used. And um, so uh, with this said, uh, let's look at the height of this machine actually before we go into details. So this machine is about uh, one. This machine is about one meter. The height is about one meter, and uh, so I made it in a way that uh, you don't have to actually bend while using the machine. So because when you start bending, your back will ache. So that's why I made it to around one hundred, uh, one thousand millimeters, or one meter. So. Uh, let's uh, go into each of the components and we see how they are made. Uh, okay, so this is the mold. This is our mold for the briquette. And uh, we see that here we have uh, various components, as you see. We have these rods here. We have a pipe. We have another pipe here. And we have uh, uh, this cylindrical uh, plate, cylindrical plate there. And uh, so let's look at how we can make this. So first of all, I will drive this back here. Uh, at first we have a plate uh, of a diameter. We have a plate of diameter 258. And we have another hole in the middle which is uh, 34. And then we have these other holes that are of diameter 20. Okay, and here they are equally spaced, of course, they're equally spaced. And from here you can actually obtain the dimensions for the holes and the plate. So after drawing this sketch, uh, I extruded uh, by four millimeters. So we're using a mild steel plate of four millimeters. And the other thing is that uh, you have to try to use something that doesn't rust, uh, or you have to find a way of painting the these are plates in a way that they don't rust easily. Okay. So uh, after cutting out this plate and the holes, next we have uh, we have uh, this pipe here at the top. Uh, this pipe is three hundred fifty uh, millimeters long, and it has a diameter of uh, outside diameter of uh, I used forty millimeters, and uh, it has a uh, thickness of uh, three millimeters okay so you can see that from here 40 and three millimeters damn it 
three millimeters thickness and it is um, 900 okay let's uh, let's go in the next part uh, so the next part we are going to draw this pipe here so the 900 you saw before is the length of this pipe from here to here it's 900 then I welded this to the plate there's a fillet hold here then next we see that um, we have a hole here so this hole uh, is actually the one uh, that allows you going to have another pipe going through this pipe so that's why you have this hole and uh, next we shall uh, draw the rods so now now you can see why we have these holes and why we made the holes okay these holes here are actually made so that we can uh, put these rods and they go through okay so we would have uh, just drawn the rods here but uh, it will not be easy to weld these rods uh, on this plate here so maybe we can just uh, put this road through and then weld here on the, on this other side of, uh, of the plate so after this actually these roads here are let's say from here from here to here they are 130 and behind they just go uh, around 10 millimeters from behind so the whole road is about 140 millimeters and this whole road is 140 millimeters long and with a diameter of 20 millimeters and uh, next uh, we have this cylindrical plate so is this cylindrical plate actually I think um, you just have to have a flat plate then you bend it to form a cylinder so that's how we do that then this cylindrical plate is just welded sorry this cylindrical plate is welded on this and this cylindrical plate is about uh, I, extru I extruded this by 130 uh, millimeters as you see 130 millimeters so this cylindrical plate is welded on this on this plate here it's welded on this okay then lastly uh, you have to put a hole here so we have a pole we have a hole here this hole is um so when when you're using this machine you have to at least have a hole because as you make the bucket um air is being trapped so we need this hole here to for the air to move outside okay to move out of the machine to release air from as the bucket is being formed so i think that is it for this part let's go to the next part uh so the next part is this press or stamp or i don't know what to call it but uh, stamp or press uh, this part here this is uh, what we we did for this first of all we have a plate as usual and this plate this time is uh, it has to be smaller it is 245 in diameter and then we also have these holes the hole here is 25 this hole has to be bigger than the other roads you saw because uh, the roads pass through these holes so the other roads are 20 these holes are 25 okay and the spacing is 45 45 and from here i think you guys can see the dimensions for these uh, holes after making then we we have this plate here we extruded it by 40 as well we used 40 okay then next we see that uh, we have this um, pipe here as well so this pipe here is uh, about 30 i guess let's check yeah the pipe is 30 and it also has a, a thickness of about 3 millimeters and uh, it has a length of uh, We use the length of 100 or 1.1 meters 1100 millimeters 1.1 so after we shall weld this on top of this plate uh, this is our fillet then um, next we have uh, here on top we we just weld a small plate this could be a washer or something 
So you should also notice that uh, actually it didn't. Uh, it is it should be less. Uh, I left this gap here because uh, so we have left that gap. Then we rolled it up. Okay. So I left that gap. So that's uh, I didn't. This wash has to be smaller than the pipe. So that we should have that gap already. Okay. Then after that we are going to put a bolt here. We're going to weld the bolt so we cut a bolt and we just put it on top here. So that's our bolt. Yeah, that's our bolt. So this bolt here, you guys will see it's used later on. And this is our stomp or the press. That's that's that. And um okay now let's go to the assembly and look at everything. So in the assembly, this is what we have, and this is how it looks like when it is finished and everything. So um, we looked at, uh, I can't move this by. Anyway, let's try to see what we have here. Let's, uh, let's hide this. So this is our uh, pressing arm or something of the sort. Then the reason as to why we put the bolt here, you can see here we have this piece here. So this piece here is one that is used for lifting, you know. So I had I decided to bolt it there just in case uh, you need to just for, for convenience because uh, at some point you may need to separate the two parts instead of welding it on top of this. You just use the bolt here so that in any time you want you can separate the two parts and uh, from here you can also see that this pipe here should actually pass through this hole so that's why we didn't uh, this washer has to move small this washer was made smaller than the pipe and I think this is the that is the bucket machine and uh, from here you can see Sorry, it doesn't have to go through. So, you see, when you push that down, it uh, moves downwards, it okay, moves out. So, what, how this machine works is, see. so let's say, for instance, you have mixed your, your bricket material and it is on the ground, just pile it into a heap. Then, using this tool, you uh, stamp on the, on the material, on the chart then the chow will be collected inside this hole okay when it is collected and it is full then after you can just uh, push it out using this rod okay when you push it out it will leave you with this uh, honeycomb type of bricket so yes and that's it and this is how this machine works and that's how it is made and i hope you guys have enjoyed this video um the 3d model i'll leave the link in the description i guess um, and thank you guys for watching this video see you in the next one